What's good, yo? We're back with another one. As you guys can see over here, I'm in, it's called the Maasai Market, one of the bigger markets out here. It's right here in Nairobi City. And today I'm just shopping around, doing last minute shopping, trying to get stuff for my girl, trying to get stuff for my mom, my sister, my brother, you know, the list goes on and on and on. And some stuff for you guys too. So today is really just like a cool little chill vlog, you know, just really chilling. Hope you guys are liking the Kenya vlogs. Hope you guys are messing with them. But for now, as you can see, it's literally rows and rows of things you can like, handcrafted baskets. This is pretty cool, you know, rows and rows of things you can get. First stop, lucky these caught my eye. Like they got this, uh, these jewelry. Like this is like gold. I'm not really a gold person to be honest, but I'm over silver guy. That's that's why I'm just ready to switch these out. But it's not bad because it's small. Oh yeah, YouTube. I got my ears pierced. All right, guys. So very random, but I'm here at this salon shop, as you can see, behind me and stuff. And I was waiting. I was switching out cars because I've been driving around the streets of Kenya all alone. I'm really from here, you guys. Those guys that be saying they're taking away my Kenya card, you can never, because I'm really from here. And I was approached by someone, they said they had this salon shop, and they had a list of things that they have, you know? And guys, you guys don't know, I was planning to get my ears pierced in LA, maybe when I got, when I got back and stuff. You know, I was trying to get it done before I left for Kenya, but just because of time constrictions, I couldn't. So I was like, I'll just do it when I get back, when I get back home to LA. But I was approached by someone. They showed me a list of things that they offer, like services. And I saw like ear piercing and I was like, oh, let me, let me just go check it out. Let me see the prices. And it's very affordable. So randomly I went up, asked some questions. And now here we are, I'm really about to get my first piercings ever. I'm getting both ears pierced. And yeah, so. Oh. So, fun fact about me, guys needles are my worst enemy ever. And my worst fear ever. Nandoy, I'm. You're a professional? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, so you just marked it? It's okay. You ready? I'm ready. Just one thing, top. Okay, let's see. I don't like needles yet, so I can't even look. I can't look. Ah, you got it. whoa, it's in. What? Ouch. No, I'm kidding. No, that ain't, it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. Okay, the other side. All right, let's see. Just like that, guys. I have my ears pierced. I never thought I'd do this. Yeah. It was always a thought, but I never actually thought I'd just do it. Wow. Just like that. <laughs> Thank you, bro. That was crazy. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But yeah, just like that, guys. I already got my ears pierced. This is crazy to me. It's the first shop. Has like a lot of gold stuff. My girl likes gold for real. So let's check it out. I'll show you guys. Nini? Uh, Nini? 
This guys, good thing I have my cousin with me. She's literally like my personal shopper. She's like gonna do all the negotiating for me. Cause as soon as they see me, they're gonna tell me ten thousand dollars for a small thing. You know, they're gonna try to tax me for real. But you know, that's why I had to be saying, "Hey, talk to her. She got the money. I got nothing. I literally got nothing on me, guys." I say, "Talk to her, cause she got all the money. I have nothing. I'm broke, literally." Hey, they got tea right here. Choose the one. This one big. It's in her. Mokoche to be yaka wa ida my sister. Sijakuru kuni yaka. Price yako so. Mokoche kuwa kwanza tuta kosa. Yeah. Ni. Chai, what do you guys? Left or right? I'm saying right. Just got a deal. Deal made. First purchase made. You're looking good. We got like this type of jewelry box for her. So, yeah. This is nice. Guys, it's really working. First purchase made. It was like a thousand kelvin shillings. She ended up bringing it down the price to 700. Coming in clutch for real. All these savings are going back to a good cause. You know, whatever she saved me, I'm probably gonna give, give it back. You know, to show love and appreciation. Family first, guys. It's amazing. Beautiful. Look at this, these are nice. These are pretty nice, to be honest. Oh, this is nice. It's like bracelet. It's cool. You know guys, when you're looking, you gotta ask if it's gonna rust. Cause you want it to be like two, three showers later, or two months later, and your silver chain looks like a gold chain, you know? don't want that at all so you gotta ask but I like these prices negotiating begins I'm not here I'm like invisible no way they're still negotiating guys it's been like 30 minutes I'll just pay the price at this point to be honest so this is probably the longest negotiation yet they're still talking about it still sorting things which makes me wonder should I ask what's happening should I question it or no so ran into this I currently have this on right now right now but I want to get more for people that want some. So I got a couple more of these. So guys, sorry I've just been busy trying to find things. But we're almost towards the end of my budget that I set aside to buy things and stuff. So get last couple things. They're also closing up, so it's just perfect timing. Guys, I find something that my dad will absolutely love, you know. He's an artist, architecture, he does it all. He's really like a true artist. I think that's where I get a lot of my creativity, and like all my creative side. It comes from my dad, so shout out to my dad, bro. But I found something that I know he absolutely love, so I'm trying to negotiate, get it for him. It's going over the budget, but like I just know it's worth it, you know. I was gonna, I love seeing my dad like smiling or happy about something, and especially about art, you know, he's like a true artist, so anything art he likes like clothes and stuff too but i know he doesn't really my dad doesn't care about like materialistic things you know he like truly values what art is and what it's about so i know he'd be more way more happy seeing something dope like that's like art rather than anything else you know if i can get him a cool shirt or like a cool watch or something but if I get him a cool art piece, he's gonna be way more excited, way more happy about the art piece than anything else. So I gotta make sure I get him something cool, something he can remember. And uh, yeah, just make him proud for real. Mark, Alan, yeah. he. 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 This art design, recycle. Mm. Uh, junk art. Junk art, yeah. Made from tin, rice from tin, rock Yeah. So guys, he said it takes about a month to make that special one. And um, it's not really the making process that takes long. It's like sourcing the material. Because you know, he gets random parts, sometimes chains and everything. And so, yeah, that's really what takes long. But once he has all the parts and everything, it really only takes a day for him to finish it all. So they usually do it in groups. And so once they finish one, they go to the next one. 
you know, so they do like three, four, five, six at a time and just like do it all together. It's pretty dope. Guys, I'm low-key risking it for you guys just to get this content. They tell me all the time, my mom be telling me, everyone be worried about me. I just have my camera out, walking around like this. And this is also why I just love this camera. It's so small, it's portable. I can literally take it anywhere. And it's not like a huge, loud camera, but the quality is still amazing. But really in the street today. Busy at night. That's a nest. She got a love for her.